Welcome to Queen Anne's County new open data website. You can find it either from the county's homepage at qac.org or just by typing data.qac.org into your web browser's address bar. Our intention is to provide useful, timely, and interesting data and information to residents and business in the county. Information, such as financial data, property data and maps, and other various pieces of data that we typically compile and record here in the county government. We are aiming for open and transparent sharing of this information and are eager to continue to add more data as is collected. You'll see here on the landing page at data.qac.org four blue boxes and several featured data sets below them. Let's walk through some of them so we can show you what can be done with this information and how to navigate around the site. First, let's select Open Data Sets. In here you will find the raw data tables that drive the various charts, tables, and maps that are generated throughout the site. Let's select one and see what it looks like. Let's pick the county's operating expenditure budget for fiscal year 2016. So you'll see that it's a tabular data similar to a spreadsheet. Now notice that you can sort, filter, and even export the data in an Excel spreadsheet or by choosing among several other different formats. Also, if you click the About button on the top right and select View Full Page, you can scroll down and see who published data and even contact the data owner with questions or requests. Keep in mind that we want this site to be useful to the consumer and if there's any type of data that you don't see here now, just contact us at opendata at qac.org and request it. We'll do our best to provide it and post it here on our open data site. Now back to the landing page, the next blue button will take you to the county's budget information page. As you can see, our revenue budget and expenditure budget are both balanced at $129 million for fiscal year 2017 and we have a little over $101 million currently budgeted in the open capital projects, which span more than one fiscal year typically. If you go into the revenue budget, you can see the total categorized in many different ways. Here is the revenue budget categorized by service. You can also see it categorized by department, division, or by revenue type. By hovering over or clicking on any of these bar graphs, you can drill down to see further details. So for tax revenue, you can see that most of the county's funds come from property and income taxes. And down below each chart are the figures that are matched in the above bars. Now over to the left, you can drill back up to the higher category levels. Also at the top, you can select the year you want to view. For now, we just have the 2017 in here, but we will be loading prior years in the next few weeks. Quick note here, at the top of each of these open data pages are the links back to the data homepage a link to more help and assistance, as well as the budget information on the county's website. We'll visit the FAQ page a little later. Now let's go back to the open budget page and visit the expenditure budget. It's very similar to the revenue budget pages except for the different categories. But by law, we have to pass a balanced budget each year, which means our revenue shall meet or exceed budgeted expenditures, so both budgets are $129 million. Again, we can drill down by service, expenditure description, or department. So let's look at this top budget expenditure, education. Remember, all of the raw data that drives these charts and graphs are available for viewing and download on the Open Data Sets page we viewed earlier. Let's return to the Open Data homepage by clicking here, and now we'll look at the Open Spending. This is similar to the Open Budget pages, except now we'll be looking at actual expenditures rather than budgeted expenditures. We have fiscal 2016 expenditures in here now, and we'll be adding 2017 expenditures as they occur. The county's fiscal year starts on July 1st of each year. So down here you can see the top five spending categories and top county vendors. You'll notice that our largest expense category and largest vendor is the Board of Education. Second are staff pay and benefits. You can select this vendor link and get an entire expenditure ledger broken down by vendor, budget type, fund, department, or expense category. Then for each category, you can click on the checkbook button up top and see individual checks or vouchers that were printed for each vendor. You can also select the download button to obtain the entire data table. Let's go back to the Open Data homepage. So Open Data Sets, Open Budget, and Open Spending are the three main modules, and they are the backbone of our Open Data system. These other buttons show off interesting or often requested pieces of information, as well as map data that can be mapped, like the locations of capital projects. Then if you select an individual mapped item and view details, you can see more information about the project, sometimes with a photo and a link to the project's website. 
you can zoom in on the map and as you zoom in it will narrow down the projects in the table below so you just see the project in the zoomed in area. Here is a list of vendors or checks from July 1st, 2015 through June 2016, which again can be sorted and filtered or download if you so choose. There is also a link here at the bottom that will take you to the Sheriff's Office Incident Database. Finally, at the top of each page is a help link, which will take you back to the county's website, where we try to answer some of the questions as well as direct you to more tutorials on how to consume this information. We also tell you how to get in touch with us to ask questions about the data or to request more or a different type of data that we don't have posted yet. We hope this new open data endeavor is useful and again, please contact us with any questions. We'd love to hear what you think about this new website.